Man, look at all those doorways. I wonder if we're going to go through all of those. Uh, this way. This way, this way, this way. Guess that's my way across. Most certainly looks like it. Although I am... I don't think Eloy, just do it. I couldn't have said it better myself. Good point. Ooh, my hands are getting sweaty. It's uh, held like this for 19 years, right? Well... D don't answer. Silence, I swear to God. So Aloy is 19 years old. Or somewhere around 19 years old. Oh, glad that's over. Interesting. Here we go. Okay, uh, can, we can go up. We can go up. I think we're supposed to go up, actually. Uh, that raises the question, what's down there? Let's explore a bit. Let's explore a bit. We got time. We got time. I'm looking. Not this way. Maybe further up the shaft. Yes, we'll go further up. But you guys know me. I'm looking for those power cores. I want that ancient armor. Okay, so back up we go. Come on. There we are. Keep going. Keep going. That's like frozen on ice right there. All right. Perfect. What's back this way? A whole lot of nothing. I'm going to have to come back here and take some photo mode screenshots because this is gorgeous. This must have been where they lived. What's left of it? Once this was all enclosed by rock and metal. Yeah, it was. What do we have in here? A bed? Some kind of a monitor? A shower, maybe? Another... Ooh, an audio log. Yes. The cord. I just woke up. It's... I see the numbers, but can't make up the time. I was dreaming of... Uh, I was giving a lecture in Q Hall. Maybe it was something more shamanistic. I, I don't know. An audience of shadowy faces under a blank open sky. Hmm. I told them the world ended with a bang. A plague of robots. The last humans. We went out, not with a whimper, but a whisper. You know, in caves, ending like we started huddled around a flickering glow. The heads of state, the Fortune Fives, the leaders, lottery winners, and life cults. All of them buried in their little shelters. Some believing they'll live it out some way, somehow, or Elysium, or us here at Gaia Prime. No different. A multitude of tiny societies taking hold. Flaring. Dying. Some will be beautiful. Some horrific. None of them matter. Short-term civilizations. One last gasp. One last gasp for the long-held breath. Before I wake up, I know the audience is gone. I'm talking to myself. To a quiet planet. A barren sphere. Just Gaia. And her long, long dreaming. I hope she won't be lonely. I don't think she was. Man, that's, that's so sad. It's, it's kind of quaint, too, because... I love the idea. I've, I think I've said this before, but I love the premise and the idea of this game. I love the idea of humanity going so far that there's like a forced reset, and we end up back in what is like the caveman era. I just really am fascinated with the idea of that, and this game has quenched the thirst for that fantasy, so to speak. It has done a fantastic job at doing that. Where is this damn power core? I know there's got to be one down here. Or power cell, sorry. Evacuation happens so fast. No time to think things through. 
No time for goodbyes. There were lines in the medical ward. I told Tom Paik I'd be with him when he went under. But there was one last shipment of parody Saidi zygotes I could get processed if I rushed. I'm still angry at him for forcing me to choose. Angry at myself for... Well, he died alone. And I didn't get the bloody birds of paradise saved either. Damn. All the time left in the world now to think. Gaia Prime's locks are sealed. Elysium sealed up, safe and sound. A distance of miles, but it might as well be on the other side of the galaxy. All the beaters and gammas and support staff living their lives. If I hadn't been an alpha, if things had gone differently, I could have been there. Instead, I'm spending the rest of my unnatural life in here with people I don't even like. And without the one, I would have gladly spent my life with. Given the chance. Two hours since I signed off on the final executables and I'm already a bitter old man bitching to his focus. There's a thought for future generations. I'm sorry, Charles. I can relate. I can relate. I would not want to be stuck in a place with people I didn't like at the end of the world either. Especially knowing the weight of all the decisions you've had to make and the consequences that will follow. Up the stairs it looks like. That door's closed, yeah. Up the stairs. Still no power cell. Elizabeth's room. I know it. She didn't even get a chance to unpack. These are her journals. Elizabeth's journals. And they're all destroyed? Scan them. The focus can rebuild them, but the process is slow. To us it seems a powerful device, but it's engine is tiny and limited how slow days weeks years mm. concern yourself with stopping hades and extending the future and you might live long enough to hear them sounds good to me i see we just got a data log there let's pull that up i'll let you guys read that really quick um oh man there's a lot okay i'm gonna let you guys read these really quick file damage under repair Oh, it's just repairing them. Okay, never mind. We're not going to read them yet. We will wait until uh, after we defeat Hades, because I guess that's when they will unlock for us. Uh, can we keep going? Yes. Yes, we can. Come on. Come on. There. What is this? Ooh. Okay, that... That looks intriguing, but let's take a look at this first. What have we got here? A bunch of flowers. This is Charles Rodson. I'm logging this six hours after final deployment of Gaia Prime. This morning, an access port seal malfunctioned. Gaia Prime's port seals were designed to close with a seam of less than two millimeters. But this one closed with a 10 millimeter gap. Uh oh. Enough for an energy signature to bleed through. Enough for the swarm to detect this facility. Enough mm. for Gaia to be discovered and destroyed. Mm, not Enough good. to end the future we worked so hard to make possible. Unless the hatch servos were manually re engaged from the outside. Fuck. I'm now switching to a recording of the event. Well, I'm not going out there. Now, who has signed up for? Either we sent someone out, or all of this was for nothing. It should be Liz's decision. So when is she going to get here? She said five minutes. You don't think... Oh, no. Okay, everyone. I've repaired the seal. Gaia? Seal closure at 1.4 millimeters. Confirmed. Elizabeth, no. We'll find a way to bring you back in. It's not gonna happen. The swarm's too close. 
Really, it's all right. Gaia's complete. She'll take care of things from here on out. That's what she does. Not like this. There's so much we... Guys, you know me. I'm... I'm no good at endings. At letting things end, so, um... Let's not. So... Happy trails, Liz. And, uh... I'll see you around. Yeah. Take care of each other, all right? Liz. I'm okay with this. Dude, I almost cried right there, I'm not gonna lie. That was just about as touching as, uh, the evil ending of Infamous 2. Aloy? Wow. She's gone. Really gone. You knew she couldn't have survived, Aloy. And her achievements were... beyond exceptional. While her people bickered, she was the one who took responsibility. The only one who could. She was better than them. That's not what I said. She was. You shouldn't be afraid to admit it. He's right. I mean... I, I don't want to sound insensitive, but the armor she had on was pretty badass. Not taking the circumstances into account. But that is so sad, dude. Like... I just feel this, this unexplainable emptiness in Can't my heart you just now. Just for one moment, stop calculating and let yourself feel. She sacrificed herself for her friends, for the future, for life on Earth. Doesn't that stir anything in you? The generosity of it. You're trying to invest her decision with something magical. It was a rational choice, not based on sentimentality. You're wrong. Remember, she knew it wasn't enough for Gaia to think. She taught Gaia to feel. To care, to sacrifice, to believe in life. Enough to fight against hopelessness. If it wasn't for that sentimentality, life would have ended. You and I would never have existed. Your argument is sound. I'm sorry for your... loss. She said she wanted to go home. Maybe. What? Nothing. It's time to go on. <sighs> Not to say that the Infamous 2 evil ending was better than this. I think this game trumps Infamous 2 in every single aspect. But, um, I did cry in that ending, and I almost cried here. Maybe I would have if I wasn't recording, I don't know, but that is so sad, dude. You'd hate it, Liz, but I wrote you a eulogy. I had to try to express all your children, after all Apollo has taught them, they'll think they know everything, but they have to understand what you did for them. How you loved the whole world so much, with an intensity that was dazzling, bruising, and in the end, it killed you. Or you died for it. Different perspectives. No one could keep up with you, live up to you. I, I don't know, maybe if, if, I, if I hadn't taken that postdoc in Joburg. I'm glad you shot down the Lightkeeper protocol in the end. I don't think I could have taken seeing another one of you. I mean, Elizabeth Sobek is only one. I miss you. Lightkeeper protocol. Is that what Gaia initiated when we were born? When Aloy was created? <laughs> now the thought of Aloy existing pre this game's timeline is weird to me. That's 
Wow. Just when I thought this game couldn't pull any more shit on me. <sighs> Keeps going. Look, Keeps going. You were a pretty stand-up gal. I'm sorry you died. If you had a home to go to, I hope you got there first. But this monument Ronson's made to you? Kinda creepy if you ask me. Rest in peace, Liz. God knows you earned it. Oh, yes, she did. Hell, Liz. Ted. I know. I know you're never gonna hear this. That's not the point. You, uh... <laughs> you got to play the savior in the motor all at once this time. Great work. That's it? That's all you gotta say. The man who destroyed the world... You fucking prick. Alright, so that's the door we're going through. Um, can we get anything else? I did see this over here. Whoop, let's not run up the side of the wall there. I did see this. What is in here? Another door with more collectibles. Okay, yeah, let's head in here. All right, so just an empty room right here. All right, fine by me, another door. Okay, there's another audio log. All right, let's start over from Eleuthia 1. Running integrity tests. Dr. Brookshaw Klein, may I seek outside protocol? I suppose so. There's no one to stop you. Doctor, you are fatigued. You have been logging abnormal sleep cycles. Are you suffering from depression? Well, I am trapped in a science facility for the rest of my life. How about you? In a time slice of a quadrillion operating cycles, 10,000 are involved with processing the loss of Dr. Sobek. I have wow. considered quarantining these processes. Do you think that would be wise? I'm not a psychologist, Gaia, or, or an AI scientist. I, no. It is... natural. At least in the context of the work you and I have accomplished, which begs the meaning of the term natural. She was your creator, the patron saint of this crazy endeavor, our lady of the fervent hypothetical. Even assuming a string of significant failure combinations, Zero Dawn's chances of success are greater than the hypothetical. It's called a manner of speech, Gaia. Take a note. That is so... cute to me. I don't know why. The, the AI talking to the people like that, it's just... That's adorable. I don't know why. Hello, Margo. How are you holding up? Um... Dr. Ronson, I've been getting a lot of messages, unsolicited messages, from Ted. Margo, oh, I'm sorry. With Liz... gone, we've got no one to run interference with him. I'll talk to Ted. He mostly wants updates, constant updates, hundreds of updates on things he knows nothing about. Liz used to field all of his crap. He doesn't understand the systems at all. I was kind of by design, but he's getting pretty sketchy with me. We just have to keep him happy. Liz always said, keep him happy. Are you kidding? You ever hear how she talked to him? <laughs> she was managing him, Margo. I mean, maybe I should ignore him. He's buried in this pyramid with the Hola Hola girls and Panta Antimon Cuckoos. What can he do? Pretty much nothing. It's not like he can go outside at all. All right, so I wonder what the hollow hollow girls are. Are they like digital prostitutes? <laughs> I don't know. All right, here's another one. Dang, the future. What are we going to plug into their heads, Les? A whole lot of history, a whole lot of so-called truth, a whole lot of noise. It's not tablet, Les. 
It's poison. Uh, no. No, it isn't. You're teaching future civilizations how to not make the mistakes that you did, Ted. You asshat. This is all about preventing them from becoming you, or one of them from making the same mistakes that you did. He is starting to really piss me off. Which I, I think that's kind of the point. There's another section at the back of the crater. Looks like it survived the blast. Because it was armored, you found the control room. I'm on my way. Okay. Oh, it's not fall. I just felt the ground shake. Mm. Another one. A solution. I've, I've been taking a hard look at the project. In the end, it's simple. It's clean. It's clear. Erasure. Addition by subtraction. I can make a better list. A single stroke. Make it all go away. I really don't like the direction this is going. Continue. Ted, I swear to God, if you have screwed this up somehow, I think he's behind, he's behind whatever happened, whatever caused Gaia Prime to malfunction. Um, and we can go down here, we can, I think we have to go in here first. I think he caused the um, transmission that caused all of these subordinate functions to malfunction, thus causing Hades and Hifo. Oh my God, those are all the people who died. Did you expect them to be alive, Aloy? When I opened the hatch, the air rushed in from this side. Because there was none inside the chamber. But the alphas were in there. What? I'm locked out of core control. Alpha clearance overridden. What the hell is Omega clearance? Oh no. Alpha personnel. Sorry to alarm you, but I need you to listen, okay? To what I'm about to say. This isn't easy. See, uh, I've, uh, please, stop trying to access the system, okay? See, see, what this is about is, um, I said stop trying to access the goddamn system. And what, what I'm trying to say is, I can't stop thinking about the ones who come after us. Those innocents. Those blameless men and, 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 and women. We're gonna give them knowledge? Like it's a gift? Ted, Ted. We've talked about this before. Apollo has 3,000 plus failsafe conditions. It's not a gift, it's a disease. They're the cure, and we're gonna give them the disease. Our disease? No. We can't. And it's not too late. If we're willing to sacrifice. Ted, it doesn't need to be like this. It already is, Samina. I did it three minutes ago. I've purged Apollo. It's gone. All of it. Every copy. A sacrifice. It's not a sacrifice. It's cultural obliteration, you crazy bastard. Millennia of culture. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But sometimes, to protect innocence, Innocents have to die. Emergency alert. You fucking moron! What gives? What fucking gives, dude? Does he not realize? Oh my god, ignorance. Ignorance. Does he not realize that we destroyed the world because we didn't know what would happen if we made this technology? 
by giving the new people who would come after us our knowledge, they know what mistakes not to make. By deleting Apollo, you have you have fucking doomed the new world because now they don't know about the mistakes we made and they will repeat them. You fucking imbecile! So this is why. This is why we were trapped in benighted ignorance. Yes. For an innocent future. Thank you. Blameless men. He never saw the slaughter in the sun ring. Moron. Everything these people achieved. All the knowledge of the old ones. He evaporated. Turned to dust. Scattered to the void. Like the alphas themselves. No. Not a void. When the hatch unsealed and scattered their ashes on the wind, it took them out among the world they made. The world we are living in. It's, it's a monument to what they died trying to accomplish. A monument to oblivion. Not oblivion, silence. Rebellions are built on hope. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll stop. I'll stop. That pisses me, dude. That is, so, that is so, so irritating. The master override. That's so small. Now all you have to do is kill Hades with it. Hmm. I'd like to kill Ted. I'd like to stick my boot so far up his ass. The water on my knee will quench his goddamn thirst. <sighs> idiot. Just. Just a fucking idiot. Well, this video is not going to be family friendly or ad friendly at all. I've cursed about a billion times already. Oh, seriously, though. I, I just don't. I don't why do you have to be so stupid? Oh god. Try not to fall to your death. The master override doesn't override gravity. Good point. I will shut up now and uh, we'll just keep we'll just keep going. <laughs>